Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9pm UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. We've got classic Q-tip use here. We can see that this section of the wax has been very firmly pushed into the ear canal. And we know it's Q-tips because we've got that domed end to it. Because if we look up here, we can see that this section of wax is much closer to the outer part of the ear canal. So it's giving that domed, pushed in central appearance to that wax always really tough ones to remove these because uh, with the use of the q-tip you've compressed a lot of the wax together uh, so it's formed quite a hard layer and then you've also got these surrounding areas which are really firmly stuck to the canal wall so it means that that whole section is one piece uh, but we're not going to be able to get that rear that deeper section away without taking this front section away first so i can see there's a small gap up there but it's whether it's big enough to get the jaws of the forceps around it so i'm just trying at the moment just to gently pull it down but see how the whole thing is moving there it's really kind of pushing further in now that deeper section I pointed out at the beginning is going to be pushed right up against the eardrum which means that we can't really go digging at this uh, we have to sort of gently pull it away or mold it and uh, unpeel it from the canal walls before we can go any further we can see that the crocodile force have struggled to get above and below it so I'm just aiming the uh, basically the, the, the fine end in here at the moment just to see if we can move any of these outer sections the more prominent sections away from the canal wall so we can get a good grip the gap at the moment is a bit too small to fit a jobson horn in that's the reason i haven't got in with a jobson horn they're actually quite uh thick when you uh when you put them into little gaps like this so i'm just aiming to try and fold this top section there we go fold the top section of wax down there but you can see rather than it folding the whole thing, it's just broken this front end away because it's quite dry and brittle. So I'm going to try and fold a little bit more because I know I'm not going to be able to get a Jobson horn or forceps above that at the moment. You can see as soon as you touch it though, the whole section moves and that rear section further in um, is actually sitting right on top of the eardrum. So just to give you some idea, what I'm going to do is slow down this next bit, just blow that particular portion up there. That's the eardrum, that blue line you can see walking around the edge. So this wax is pushed right up against that. So they really force this in and that's what's been causing the hearing issues. Um, so I'm really gently trying to, to pull this down from the top section here. You can see the whole thing rocking back and forth. Um, we're just going to try the Jobson horn out. You can see what I mean now, but it being a bit too wide. See the width of that front end of the Jobson horn there is just too thick to get into that little tiny gap at the top. So let's use the forceps again now and see if we can get in there because the, the jaw of the forceps is slightly thinner. So we're trying to get a grip above and below. Just slowing this down so you can see what happens. There we go, we got the grip. Look as we pull this away. See that whole section, look, has been so compressed together with the Q-tip that it's formed one solid block that's dried out and has been sitting on top of that eardrum. So there we are, let's come away. Let's take a look behind. So we've managed to take every single piece of wax. You can see all the bits that were stuck around the edge were all connected to that one piece. So uh, it's a centimetre across, oh, almost bang on half an inch there. So quite a, quite a substantial piece to be pressed up against your eardrum. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.